Hello and welcome to another episode of What's the Plan, Terraria? Today's plan is to kill our second boss, get some, uh, get some pretty epic loot, and summon some meteorites. So, you know, not too, uh, hazardous, but the real key is we need to find where this corruption is. I have no idea, I've only explored, uh, on camera, so... I'm assuming there will probably be some corruption on both sides. This is a large map, so I'm not super worried about it. But we still do need to find it. Hopefully uh, we can get there without any real problems. This will allow... But what's nice is this will allow us to get either a new pick or upgrade our gear, because our, uh, our gear is severely... Oh! Tons of... Uh, there. Ooh, and a chest. I will take whatever you have. Some iron. Eh. I'll take it. Some swiftness. I'll allow it. Swiftness won't hurt in the coming fight. So. But yeah. That is the goal. Some iron there. Could make an iron helmet, I'm sure, with all the iron we've passed up. But no real need. We will just take, say, a cactus or two. Because, you know, why not? They're easy enough to get rid of. Hate vultures. They're just a pain in the ass. But they drop some good copper compared to all the other crap. So as you can see, I'm running around with my pick, too. It's easiest to pick up, like, mushrooms and stuff. Uh, it's strong enough that I can kill slimes without too much of a problem. Oh, another cave? might be a good cave to explore later on, unless it just ends, which it might. Doesn't quite look like it just ends, but who knows how far down it goes. We'll have to see in another episode. For this one, we are going str specifically for the corruption, so I hope we come up to some soon, as weird as that is to say. Now, one thing that some people might ask is, what's the point of going to the corruption if you can't summon the boss? Because, I mean, the boss, you need to actually craft something that has, using the rotten flesh uh, that you actually get in the corruption and things. Uh, but the best part about this boss is if you just destroy three uh, orbs, he is automatically summoned. Just, you destroy three orbs, and he is back. Well, not back, but he is... You know, awakened, I guess is the proper way to call it. So, we just go in there and destroy three orbs. And there we go, we just fight him in his own home. You know, we don't need to set up a really major base of operations. You know, we're fighting him in the dank caves. So, yep. I are jumping good. But, that well, looks like, is this the jungle? This might be the jungle. So that's good to know. The jungle is this direction. We're going to have an explore of that eventually as well. But we are... We're definitely not geared enough for the jungle. The hornets and the man... Uh, eaters, I guess? I guess. Oh. Oh, that sucks. There we go. But yeah, the, the jungle... Hits hard. So we definitely need some better weapons. Piranhas. Hate piranhas. But luckily we should be able to get through the jungle pretty quickly. Ah, the more you learn. Oh. Good. Ah, look at that. Oh, chest. I don't know if this chest will contain anything better because it's in the jungle. And it did. So we'll just uh, loot all. I don't think I took that first chest. That's a, that's a sad thing. Do you like to take me some chests? But, oh my god. That jungle bat. As you can see, even the crappy bats hit for 16. Oh, I speak of the devil. Oh, a snatcher. That's not one of the ones that's down below, I think. So we can only hit him for one. Our sword does seven. So. The jungle slime. Ugh, I hate the jungle so much. There we go. 
Oh. Alright, you go that way. This is actually a significantly larger jungle than I was expecting. And granted, it is a large uh, zone. So. And this is a cave that ends. Perfect. Just wanted to make sure. And bam. Wait for him to jump. And. Just march our way to the top and over. This jungle should be ending soon. These bats are annoying me, though. There's a ton of them. And I am well ready to be done with them. Plenty of slimes, too, to annoy me. Ah, uh, the corruption's not even going to be on the side, is it? Or we're going to get killed in the corruption right when we get there. Which is a possibility as well. Ah, uh, I hope not. Ah, you stupid snatcher thing. Right, I need to kill these bats, though. Oh my god. Alright, juggle this slime. Oh, snatcher. Right. Okay, so just using the healing potion. Uh, I guess it used it from my. Uh, used the. Uh... Holy shit. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. But it used the uh, the mushroom, which 15 health is not what I was looking for. So Snatcher is almost dead though. Now it's dead. Jump over me. I know you're gonna chase me, but I don't care. Uh, I will get out of here. This is the longest jungle ever. Oh my god, and I can't aim. <laughs> okay, health regen. Kick into play. Back up to full. Tons of pots, though. Blood pots. Oh, yeah. Have a help. Yeah. Oh my god. So long. And the jungle is over. Thank something. Everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I suck more? The answer is pro is that a jungle bat? Oh my god. Uh, but at least we have very tall trees. We, Although we're not actually getting wood right now. Uh, we know where to pick some up. But this is still quite a trip. We are going to actually move our potions around. So let's go. So hopefully if we potion up, it will use one of the five 100 health potions. Desert. Holy shit. And at long last. Okay. First cave. Terrible. But. We made it. We're in the corruption. There's going to be three orbs here. And all is going to be well. It's just hitting nighttime, which kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't know if that actually affects the uh, level of the mob spawning. But, ah, oh, perfect. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. I don't know what kind of uh, Is that anything special? Oh, it's Demonite! Look at that! Got a nice little vein of Demonite already? Okay. Let's 
Eater of Souls is in my face. Can't stop the picking. Perfect. Now we can't actually mine this. This is what I was talking about. Alright. So these guys are coming up for us. So we're gonna stop them in their tracks. More torches, please. Fantastic, we got an orb. One orb down, two orbs to go. Now I'm not worried about getting it just yet, I just want to find them. I believe that is more demonite. So, let's quickly just check the other direction. We have a shine potion, we won't just use that right now. Oh, okay. This way we can light our path, especially if we fall down a pit. Alright, so we have an orb there. This is a good location. This is sort of like the what I was talking about. An archery potion, which is pretty useful. Now, I still have my torches out because I do want to place them down in the hallway so things just don't spawn on us. We have another orb there. We have more demonite everywhere. This is, this is incredible. Which is why we have this stuff. Pow! Just like that. Can't pick up the stone? Don't really care. Stone. You know what? I can hear some skeletons, hear some zombies. Oh, it's a wonderful night. But it's a terrible night for a curse. Just remember, it's always a terrible night for a curse. Alright, well let's actually take the time to uh, purify and get our first orb. Although, I do want to get this demonite. Sorry. Oh, demonite. We need you so badly. And then in like four episodes, we're not going to need you anymore. There we go. Uh, wish I crafted like the demonite sword. I didn't realize there was so much demonite just lying around. Okay, hey, that's okay. So here we go. Bam. Get more purification powder. Piece of cake. Going straight for the orb. Now the one thing, I am going to have to start taking stuff out of my inventory and destroying it. And I am quite okay with that. I've, there's a lot of stuff I picked up that I don't want. So... I mean, at this point, I have some copper. I don't care about copper. So let's see. What do we got? Six torches. Yeah, that'll stack. Eh, yeah, that's trash. Cobwebs. Don't need any more. Let's see, demonite? I do want that. Don't need the... Oh, actually, I do kind of want the sand, but I can always get more sand. So that's easy enough. So I'll start there. And we have our orb. Ooh, for a musket. Horrible chill goes down our spine, which is warning one of three. By destroying this, it does a couple of things. First is it gave us an item, which was the Keen Musket, which is fantastic because now the gun dealer will arrive. So that is wonderful. I love that guy. So, although the musket itself sucks, it's very, very slow. So... Yeah, that kind of sucks. That's okay. Because, uh... That's not exactly what we care about. Uh, corrupted fish? Corrupted fish are bad. The question is, is there an orb down here? And there is... Alright, corrupted goldfish, you're gonna, like, suck pretty hard. I know. Okay, good. Okay. Whew. Good thing we still have our glow sticks. And I think we might just pick some up. So now we have orb number two. Now in order to get this, we need to first make ourselves a little pocket of air. Because there's no way we're actually spending the time going all the way back up to the top. Nope. We just need something like this. Pink. Air. 
so hopefully we'll get something different than a musket. Uh, there are, the orbs can drop a number of useful things. Um, one is the orb of light, which got severely nerfed, but still kind of nice to have. Oh shit. So, this is actually a, a terrible time to fight it an hour, although we were able to kill it. Um, he's basically a mini Devourer of Worlds. Let's see. A ball of... a shoddy ball of hurt. I was very excited because balls of hurt are fantastic. Oop, and we got a meteorite. Wonderful. Alright. So, meteorite has already landed. Alright. Oh, thank god, it's just a really shitty... Ooh, god. And our shine potion wore off. So... Let's actually... Do I get rid of all of my building material? Oh my god. Please don't tell me I get rid of all of it. Um... I could sworn him. Oh my god, I got rid of the... Okay, so I am kind of really, really dumb. So down we go. Into the water. We're going to grab some stone. I'll get rid of... Let's see. I have to get rid of a lot of stuff. Blink root for now. Blink root seeds. Keep the stone. Wonderful. Where are you, stone? Some more stone. Ah. Tons of dirt blocks. Perfect. Now well, let's get my air here. Excellent. As you can see, it's easy to jump to one side and then sort of angle up. Okay, now we just need some dirt blocks. Which is number nine. Fantastic. Clear this up. Clear up the top. This way now no eaters or big eaters or little eaters will come and get us. I'm going to do a little purification here. Clear up some of the area. Make it easier to work. Right. We'll have to take care of these guys. Wonderful. Good. Why you do this to me, guy? Why you do this to me? Get some dirt. Dirt up the wall. Or dirt a wall. Move on. Torches, torches everywhere. Like I said. Uh, because I destroyed some water, came down. Destroyed my torch that was there. Now we're just going to want to light this puppy up. Hopefully get a lot more light. Right. So here we go. Get some more dirt. Dirt it up. This will be our kill zone, so to speak. Again, I'm going to want to clear out some of this. Now, I can't clear out all of it, sadly, because I cannot dig there. Because you cannot dig under those things. I am going to clear this out a tiny bit, hopefully. This will allow me to get rid of that water. Not enough. Oh, perfect. Just enough. Now we can put a torch there. And there. Glorious. As you can see, the dirt wall doing what it's there for. Now let's get set up for the boss. Okay, so let's toss some more stuff away. So, Swiftness Potion, we're actually going to use one. Uh, let's see. Cactus. No more. Alright. As much as I wanted the cactus, I'd rather just be all prepared and sorted here. No idea how slime got down here. So let's see. Cactus don't need... Stone blocks don't need any more. Holy shit! I have no idea what just happened, but the slimes are spawning. So... I just want to dig down, and the slimes are not allowing me. Okay. 
So now... We have our archery potion. Don't really care about that. Night hour potion. Oh my god, and a goblin army. This is insane. Alright, uh, where are we? Purification powder. Where did I put you? Okay. So we're gonna want to do the goblin army as well. Fantastic. Uh, so much stuff is going on. Which probably means hopefully we'll kill this boss and we might actually die to get to the Goblin Army, although I don't really want to die, so... Alright. Oh, well, uh, I don't even know if I'll kill this boss, actually. So let's get, clear up our inventory just so we can be guaranteed to pick stuff up. Iron Skin Potion we're going to use. And Swiftness Potion we're going to use. Torches, we'll light up. And grenades. Where did I put those grenades? Seriously, where did I put those grenades? Um, grenades. Thank God. Here we go. So let us go for it. Oh God. So the Eater World has just awoken. He is not very pleased with me. As you can see, this is... Okay. There we go. As you can see, the grenades don't damage the surrounding area, but blow him to shit. So. Fantastic way to easily kill the Eater Worlds. The best part is... As he damages you, you just keep healing from killing his sections. Oop, missed. Does not appear like there's much left of him. So... And look at me, still full health. Oop, missed again. Ah. Now the only problem with grenades... Wrong way. Yeah. Yeah, I had a good hit there. The only problem with the grenades is that you can hit yourself and not him, and that's where an issue comes. Boom. Eater of Worlds defeated. It's just like that. It's just that easy. Now we're getting the hell out of here. Because I don't know what happens. We might have stopped the Goblin Army, which is kind of saddening. Because we summoned the Eater of Worlds. Now our take from that. Tons of Demonite. Tons of Demonite. And a good amount of Shadow Scales. Now we're probably going to want to fight another one. But pretty much two is pretty much all you need. Two is enough. So now we have to head back home. Uh, although we do have enough that we could probably fight him again, we are going to head back home and see what happened. I'm a little worried with the Goblin Army approaching. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut it here, uh, basically just travel home. As you can see, I have... I didn't pick up any money. That's weird. I must have missed something. Shiza. Alright, I'm going to go back there, pick up whatever I missed, and then I am going to uh, head back home. And uh, should I approach, hit the Goblin Army, I'll let you know. Should I not, I'll just start up and say, hey, nothing happened. But I will uh, see you soon. Then, so, Hello everybody, yep. I just wanted to close up this episode. Uh, you can see I'm actually home. Uh, I did get home and actually fought a Goblin Invasion, which will be the next video. But I just wanted to wrap up and say thank you all for watching. And I will catch you next time where you can see me fight a goblin invasion right when I get home. It did not go well. But you'll get to see that. Goodbye.